Hello everyone, welcome to all for the lecture series of Naval Architecture for MEO examination. This is the third lecture of this series where we are going to discuss about uh, the hydrostatic pressure and its application in Naval Architecture. In the second lecture, we have started discussion on the numericals and uh, i have given one numerical as a homework and you can see that numerical in front of you if you read the numerical you will come to know that it is very easy and we have already done this type of a numerical so read the numerical and accordingly draw the diagram so the question is like this a vertical bulkhead 9 meter wide and 8 meter deep 9 meter wide so you have a is a 9 meter wide and 8 meter deep has a sea water on one side only to a depth of 6 meter to a depth of the 6 meter it means approximately somewhere here so this is the 6 meter calculate the pressure in kilo newton per meter square at the bottom so we have to calculate the pressure at the bottom of the bulkhead and the load on the bulkhead and we have to find out load on a bulkhead load on the bulkhead now this is a, a bulkhead means the formula which we have used for the vertical plane that all the formulas are applicable over here now what is the difference between earlier two numericals and this numerical in earlier numerical we have seen that the sub question a was the water level is at the top of the bulkhead the water level was at the top of the bulkhead this is the first sub question was there and the second sub question was water level was above the bulkhead means in that case the bulkhead was completely submerged in earlier case now in this case the bulkhead is there 8 meter depth but water level is up to the 6 meter only it means that the bulkhead is not completely submerged that is just opposite to the earlier cases okay so if this is the condition means the bulkhead is submerged up to here if i draw like this you will come to know that up to here only the bulkhead is uh, submerged so this blue color you can see that part is only submerged under the water so how to proceed for this compared to earlier numerical this numerical is very easy you have to think that forget about the part which is about the water line forget about the part which is above the water line this one because there is no water over here so there is no load coming on the above the water line so whatever the things we are going to calculate that is only for the submerged part of the bulkhead means there is a blue part which i have shown here so you have to think like a the bulkhead is only the depth of the bulkhead is 6 meter and width is 9 meter in that way only we have to think and you have to think that the water level is at the top of the bulkhead it's like you have to assume it is like that only because the part which is above the bulkhead that is not used because there is no water over there so there is no load is going to act on that part so how to proceed for that so for that purpose 
I have told you how to take the H. H will be at the free surface. H is equal to zero will be at the free surface. So if you want to calculate now pressure at the bottom, the formula will be like this. P is equal to rho G H. And in this case, H will be six meter because we need to find out the pressure at the bottom. This is the location P bottom. So at this location, this location from the free surface is at a six meter. So H will be six meter. So pressure is equal to rho. They are saying the liquid is a sea water. Liquid is a sea water. So density of the sea water is 1025 kg per meter cube. 9.81 is the G and H will be a six meter. If you solve this, you will get the answer for the pressure that will be in a newton per meter square but they want the answer in a kilo newton per meter square so only the conversion part is there about the kilo newton per meter square we will see that exact values in the next slide now the second part of this question is they are asking load on the bulkhead load on the bulkhead then what i told you how to consider the depth of the bulkhead is 6 meter and the width is 9 meter. Like that you have to consider and you have to solve the number. So if you want to find out the load on the bulkhead, what is the formula? Load is equal to rho g a h. Now here the very important step you have to understand. Now the water is there up to the 6 meter only. So whenever you are finding the area of the bulkhead, so that area you have to consider where the water is there, up to where the water is there. That area only you have to consider. Don't consider the full area of the bulkhead. Why? Because above the water surface, there is no water, so there is no load exerting on the bulkhead. So you have to consider the effective area of the bulkhead is uh, this one. Area is equal to height is a six meter and the width is a nine meter so it will be 54 meter square and the depth capital h what is the definition i didn't try to recall the definition of h h will be measured from the free surface from the free surface up to the centroid of this underwater volume underwater area underwater area of the bulkhead not a centroid of the whole not a centroid of the whole bulkhead it will be the centroid of the underwater part of the bulkhead not four meter if you consider the centroid of the whole bulkhead it will be four meter from the top of the bulkhead but here the effective area of the bulkhead is the under water area of the bulkhead only so the h also you have to take from h is equal to zero from the free surface and you have to find out the area of the underwater bulkhead and centroid of the underwater bulkhead so that will be depth of the bulkhead underwater bulkhead is six meter divided by two it will be a Three meter. So H will be three meter, not four meter. Don't measure H from the top. It will be measured from the free surface. So you know A, you know H. Rho is known, G is known. Substitute there, you will get the value of a load. So to check the answers, we will see the next slide. You can see, as I have discussed, only just a revision I am saying again. Pressure at the bottom, the formula will be rho gh. Rho is 1025. G is 9.81. And h is measured. h is measured from the uh, free surface. From the free surface. Again, I am drawing the diagram here. The width is 9 meter. 
the depth of the whole bulkhead is uh, 8 meter but underwater part of the bulkhead is uh, depth is a uh, 6 meter so this is the underwater part of the bulkhead so this h pressure at the bottom means you are taking the you are going to measure h from the free surface h is equal to, h is equal to 0 at the this free surface and at the bottom it will be a h is a 6 meter that only we have taken here so if you solve this the answer will come in newton per meter square it will be like this we want the answer in kilo newton per meter square so we are converting like this load on the bulkhead rho g a h a is the area effective area of the bulkhead which is uh, under the water which is under the water so rho is the density g is 9.81 now area is you can see the area of the underwater part is 9 meter multiplied by depth of the bulk bulkhead which is under the water that will be 9 into 6 this is the area and h is the centroid h is the centroid of the underwater part and that will be measured from the free surface so from here to here this is the capital h that will be half of the six this will be three meter so that will be taken here if you solve this you will get the answer 1.629 to 10 raised to power 6 that will be the newton converting into the mega newton how to convert the mega newton 1 into 10 raised to power 6 newton is equal to 1 mega newton 1 into 10 raised to power 6 newton is equal to 1 mega newton okay so this is a very uh, simple numerical from this chapter now we'll move to one more numerical it is also very very important numerical and interesting also now read the question a bulkhead is in the form of a trapezoid the bulkhead is in the form of a trapezoid which i have drawn here on the screen you can see trapezoid is there nine meter wide at the deck so you consider this is the deck and this is the keel so nine meter at the deck five meter wide at the bottom means at the bottom means at the keel so this is the bottom five meter wide at the bottom and eight meter deep eight meter deep means depth of the bulkhead is a eight meter which is given here find the load on the bulkhead find the load on the bulkhead if it has the oil again i am repeating rd rd means relative density if the relative density of the oil is 0.85 it means that the density of the oil will be 850 kg per meter cube. You have to multiply with a thousand. You have to multiply with a fresh water density. Then you will get the density of the oil that will be 850 kg per meter cube. Okay, on one side only okay like this conditions they have given now again there are two sub questions as we have seen earlier so first sub question is or you can say the condition the this oil is up to the depth of six meter means the the oil is there the total depth of the bulkhead is 8 meter but oil is there up to the 6 meter only up to the 6 meter you have a oil this is the first condition and if this is the condition then you have to find out the load on the bulkhead if this is the condition then find out the load on the bulkhead this is the first condition second condition is 
with the four meter head to the top edge means above this there will be some sounding pipe will be there above the main deck there will be some sounding pipe will be there and the liquid is enter in the sounding pipe how much what is the free surface level from the top edge that will be a four meter so this is the condition this type of a numerical already we have seen in earlier numerical the bulkhead was a, a rectangle now in this numerical the bulkhead is only replaced with a trapezoid that is the only difference the rest of the things will be remain same what we have done in the earlier numerical okay so if you have not seen the earlier uh, numerical so please visit uh, lecture number 2 of uh, hydrostatic pressure and its application in naval architecture you will find the numerical in the lecture number 2 so all of you please some take some time and start solving the numerical by yourself now let's start uh, solving the numerical so first condition we will consider that water level is at the 6 meter depth now when we have consider uh, a rectangle bulkhead and water level is at the midpoint or somewhere the width of the bulkhead at the top and at the bottom everywhere it will be same but in this case width is not same it is varying linearly from top to the bottom so what we have to do we need to find out the width at the depth 6 meter we have to find out the width at the depth of a 6 meter how much will be the width if you know the width at this level at the 6 meter depth then only you can find out the load acting on the bulkhead the formula will be remain same to find the load acting on the bulkhead that will be this one load is equal to rho g a h this is just the simple simplest formula rho g a h same similar formula which we have done earlier the only thing is you have to find out the area of the trapezoid means in this case underwater trapezoid is this much only the underwater part is this is the underwater part of the trapezoid this is the underwater part of the trapezoid if you know there are two ways to find out the area of the trapezoid there are two ways to find out the area of the trapezoid this is the a uh, simplest formula for finding the area of the trapezoid how to find how to use this formula consider this is the a a is the width of the trapezoid at the depth 6 meter and b is the width at the bottom h is the depth of the trapezoid small h so you know a b and h if you know all the things you can substitute here you will get the value of a or you can get the area of the trapezoid this is the uh, simplest formula to find out the uh, area of the trapezoid okay there is another way to find the if you suppose if you don't know the area of the trapezoid there is some another way also to find out the area of the trapezoid that we will see now but before starting before starting the calculation first of all you have to find out the value of a means the width of the trapezoid at the depth of 6 meter that you have to find out first so how to proceed for that 
there are different ways so we will discuss one of the way here like this so from the corner here draw a vertical line like this draw one more vertical line from here like this okay then by using the similar triangle which are the similar triangle i am talking i am talking about uh, this this similar triangle this triangle and another triangle is this one by using these two triangles we can find out this distance you can find out this distance you will know this distance now because these two lines are parallel so if this is a 5 meter so this will be also 5 meter we need to find out this value now we need to find out this value how to proceed for that if this total is a 9 meter if this total is a 9 meter this 5 meter has gone the only thing is left now 4 meter the only thing is left is a 4 meter so this is a symmetric about this line so 5 meter has gone here the remaining is a 4 meter 9 meter minus 5 meter 4 meter is left so this will be a 2 meter this will be also 2 meter agree with this so total will be 9 meter agree with this if you are doing like this it is a wrong method if you are doing this it is a wrong method then how to proceed for that how to proceed for that how to do the calculation this won't be a 2 meter this won't be a 2 meter it will be how to proceed by using the similar triangle method so i will give the name to the triangle this is a b and c then this is a d and e the similar triangles is this one triangle a b c and triangle a d e so how to proceed for that this angle is the same in the both the triangles so you can can we write like this b c by a b is equal to e d by a d now in this case we know everything we know bc we know bc so how much is the bc total is 9 meter this 5 meter is gone so bc will be 2 meter so bc is a 2 meter ab ab is a total depth that will be a 8 meter ED that we have to find out ED divided by AD AD is 6 meter so ED is equal to 2 by 8 into 6 so it will be 12 by 8 AD, ED is a 12 by 8 now this part this ed and this one both are same only because it is a symmetric about this vertical line so whatever the ed is there same thing you can use here also okay 
now if you want to find out the total width at the water line or at the depth of 6 meter how to proceed for that that will be I'm talking about this. The total water line, length of the water line at or total width at the six meter depth is. this ed and this is also you can say ed only and this one will be a five meter so total width at the water line at the depth six meter will be two times ed plus five meter so two times ed means you have a 12 by 8 plus 5 so it will be So this will be twenty four by eight plus five. So it will be three plus five. It means it is a eight meter. So the depth of the water line at the six meter depth will be this one is uh, 8 meter i hope all of you understood up to here so what we got now we got the depth of the water line is uh, 6 meter and the width of the water line at a 6 meter depth is 8 meter this thing we have already done the calculation we got the values now what we want we have to find out the find the load on the bulkhead find the load on the bulkhead now for finding the load on the bulkhead the formula is like this load is equal to rho g a h now to calculate the area you can easily use you can use this formula and calculate the area of this underwater part of the bulkhead now the question is remains how to find the h now what is h h is the distance of centroid of a underwater bulkhead from the free surface from the free surface so this underwater part is there that is also trapezoid we need to find out the, the centroid of the underwater part of the bulkhead so how to proceed for that if you remember that in uh, strength of material we have done this analysis this type of numerical we have solved so you can directly remember the formula of the centroid of the trapezoid if you are unable to remember we can do some another method for that how to proceed for that make a three different entities from the single underwater trapezoid like this so from here to our vertical line so this will be one triangle just So you will have uh, three entities here.
this is the one triangle second one is a rectangle and third one is a triangle i want to find out the centroid from the free surface so what i will do now i will take this water surface as uh, you can see this So this you can take as a x axis and this one you can take as a y axis if you remember that uh, this in strength of material we have done this type of a numerical if you have not done i will give the recap of that suppose i have a one t type section is there like this and if i ask you find out the centroid of this p section then how to proceed for that how to do that create this p section into two components so like this this is for we can call as a flange component number 2 and this vertical is called as a web the component number 1 so what i will do now i will take the individual i will find out the individual area of a component so i will make like this serial number i will make some column like this serial number then the component then y bar then you have a first area moment so there are two components so i will mark 1 and 2 like this so component number 1 i have given the number as a 1 what is y bar y bar is a distance of the centroid of the component 1 from the x axis vertical distance of the centroid of the component 1 consider the depth of the web i will take some numerical value it is a 10 meter this will be 2 meter this you can say 10 meter so y bar is the distance of the centroid of the component 1 from the x axis i will call as a y1 so that will be half of our total depth of the component 1 that will be 10 by 2 is a 5 meter so i will write here 5 meter so again it is a first moment first moment of the area that is area of the component multiply by the centroidal distance from the x axis so area of the component 1 will be 10 into this also you can take 2 meter into 2 into this 5 same thing you can do component 2 y bar of the component 2 is the centroid of the component 2 will be at the at the midpoint of the vertical distance vertical distance is 2 meter so it will be at the 1 meter but the, what is y bar y bar is the vertical distance from you can call it as the y2 vertical distance from the x axis to the centroid of the component 2 that will be 10 meter plus 1 meter 1 meter is the half of the 2 meter so it will be 11 meter so you can write here 11 
now ay area of the component 2 is a 10 into 2 into y is 11 so do the summation of these two values then you will get the algebraic summation of ay you have to create here one more column i forgot here area column will be there so area of the component one i will call as a1 area of the component two is a2 summation of a is algebraic summation of the both the component i will call as the summation a if i want to find out the total centroid of this p section the formula will be y bar is equal to summation of a y divided by summation of a so in this way you can find out the centroid of the total p section so all of you please remember this formula same thing we are going to do here in case of a trapezoid so at a six meter we have seen the width is eight meter depth is a six meter we have created the triangle here uh, rectangle one uh, triangle one rectangle is a two and triangle is a three three components are there and i will take this x-axis as a origin and in this way in opposite direction So I will take a reference as this one and from here I will measure the value of a centroid. So no need to consider that y is in a downward direction to so consider as a negative, no need to consider that. We straight away do the calculation. So serial number, so create. A table like this serial number area y bar a y bar one two three so area of the component one area of the component one is your triangle so area of the triangle will be one by two base into height so in this case base was this value already we have found ed ed how much was the ed ed was a So ED was 1.5 meter. This calculation already we have done. So area of the uh, this uh, triangle is uh, 1 by 2. Base is 1.5, and uh, height is uh, 6 meter. So it will be 9 by Two, it means it will be a 4.5 meter square. So area of this first component that is a 4.5. Second component also 4.5 because it is similar. The third component and second component is your rectangle. The area of the rectangle is a width is 5 meter and the depth is 6 meter. So it will be 30 meter square. Now y bar I am going to measure from the free surface. So if you know that if you have a, a, a triangle like this and the depth is h, if the depth is h, the, uh, the centroid of the triangle will be generally lying here. From the base, the position of the centroid will be h by 3 and from the apex, it will be 2h by 3. So I'm measuring everything from the base. So the centroid of this triangle will be somewhere here. In this case, also it will be here. So what is 
that will it will be h by 3 so h is how much is the h h total h is a 6 meter so h by 3 will be 6 by 3 it will be a 2 meter so this will be also 2 meter this will be also 2 meter now for the a rectangle the centroid will be at the half of the depth the total depth is 6 meter the centroid of the rectangle is at the 3 meter from the full surface so do the calculation 4.5 multiply by 2 it will be 9 30 multiply by 3 it will be 90 4.5 multiply by 2 it will be 9 do the algebraic summation of this 999 it will be 108 and do the algebraic summation of the area it will be 39 meter this will be meter cube so how to find the y bar cent total centroid of the trapezoid will be summation of a y divided by summation of a it will be now so it will be 108 divided by 39 you will get some value so in this way you can find out the centroidal location of the trapezoid centroidal location of the trapezoid and you got the total area of the trapezoid you got the centroidal location of the trapezoid now what is the formula for the calculation of the load if you remember all of you see here load is equal to rho g a h now rho is a uh, now they have liquid is a uh, oil related density is a 0.85 means density will be 850 9.81 area will be this 39 and uh, y bar that is the h value from the free surface that you will get from here you can substitute here you will get the load acting on the bulkhead load acting on the bulkhead when the water depth is up to the 6 meter so like this you have to do the calculation for the part a we will see the again the same thing it is there in the slide you can see exact numbers the width of the bulkhead at the 6 meter 8 meter uh, at the 6 meter depth is 8 meter already we got load on the rectangle they have done all the calculation and they got the load on the <coughs> so they have done like this and they got the values as a load on the bulkhead is 900.5 kilo newton so if you do the calculation you will get the uh, same values like this i hope uh, everything is uh, clear now second case was uh, the second case was uh, the bulkhead is there and you have a bulkhead like this and now water level is above the bulkhead it is water level is the above the bulkhead so i will put that second part as a homework for everyone so h will be h is equal to zero will be here so in this case what you have to do you have to find out do the same procedure do the same procedure find out the area of the trapezoid by making the three different parts rectangle number uh, triangle number one rectangle is number two triangle number is a three find out the create the same uh, tabular things and find out the area of the trapezoid find out the centroidal location of the trapezoid from the from the top from the top 
you will get the centroidal from the uh, location of the whole trapezoid from the top but when you are going to calculate the load on bulkhead in the second case i am talking so formula will be rho g a h a is the total area of the bulkhead and h is measured from the free surface h is the measure from the free surface h is measured from the free surface i'm talking about this suppose somewhere here you have a centroidal location of the whole trapezoid from the top of the bulkhead but the water level is up to the this level so when you are going to use this formula for the load on the bulkhead the h will be h will be this distance suppose it will be x and this will be a y so h will be x plus y x already they have given y we are going to do the calculation and you will get the value of y finally you will get the value of h take this value of h substitute here area already we have calculated substitute all the things you will get the value of a load on the bulkhead i hope everything is a uh, uh, clear uh, well, we will meet in the next class with uh, a different topics uh, thank you very much